Hey Shook, welcome back to Nisi Girl Tarot. So I'm here to do a bonus reading for my Geminis because it's Gemini season. <laughs> right? Okay, so we gotta do this because it's our birthday. Happy birthday, Gemini. Okay. So I'm doing a bonus reading, and this reading will actually look into um what does your person want to say to you? What does your person need to say to you, hasn't said to you, is thinking of saying to you? whatever okay regardless if you are with that person if you're not okay just you know what do they need to say they haven't said it okay and then we're going to clarify it right and then i'm going to give you some advice from spirit because that's what tarot is about okay advice yes yes <laughs> all right so we want guidance from spirit all right but we want to know what does our person want to say to us okay so it's for gemini spirit Right now, what does Gemini's person want to say to them? Okay, we got two. It says, am I good enough for you? Okay. And then this card says, I'm still haunted by my actions. Okay. So this person did some stuff. This person did something. Where another one? Okay, that one ain't going to came out. Where another one? Okay, really, that's too many. Clarifying all of that. Give me one. Come on. One. Come on. Okay. And it says, I still remember the good times we shared. Okay? So this is for someone that you're obviously not with. Gemini. Okay. One moment. Okay. So I had to move the camera in so that you can kind of like see the um, images and stuff. Like that's what's important. Okay. So let's shuffle for you, Gemini. So the first thing that they said is, am I good enough for you? Um, I'm still haunted by my actions and I still remember the good times we shared. So let's see what's going on with this. Gemini, your person, okay? Now your person is someone that you're connected to. You don't have to be with them, okay? But you're connected to them in some way, okay? Obviously this person is not with you, Gemini. Okay, so let's see what they're talking about. Poor oh, Gemini. All right. For Gemini. So, am I good enough for you? Why is this card here for Gemini and a person? Why is this card here for Gemini and a person? Am I good enough for you? The Eight of Pentacles, okay? Could have something to do with work. Am I good enough for you? Maybe you um, were, I think I said it in Aquarius reading, temperance almost came out. Maybe you were doing more, Gemini, as far as financially. With the, I'm, am I good enough for you? Like maybe they're not working. Okay. Maybe they're not putting in any effort. Okay. With the emperor card. All right. Maybe they're not standing up and taking control. Um, you know, the Emperor card, he's like a, you know, ultimate father figure. Okay. So this is someone Emperor card, you know, that takes control of the family and keeps them safe and keeps them healthy and strong and all that good stuff. Okay. But this is also someone that with the page of wands is someone that is daring, someone that is brave. Okay. Someone with, um, exciting new ideas who wants to communicate. Okay. So someone wants to communicate to you Gemini you know with the am I good enough for you card it's like maybe they didn't put in any effort okay or they didn't you know stand up and take care of the um, relationship and invest in the relationship as they should have in this page of wands it's like they want to communicate um, you know that they want a, a different route or they want to take a different route 
five of swords there's mental conflict there but there's there's been some conflict there okay why is this card here i'm still haunted by my actions why is this card here really okay so you have two of swords you have the nine of pentacles you also have the queen of pentacles okay so a lot of pentacles here okay this person might have been going back and forth with whether to be in a relationship with you gemini or to be by themselves okay they could have been at a crossroads on that but the queen of pentacles i feel like they see you as the queen of pentacles gemini give me another one give me another for this card i'm still haunted by my actions yeah you have the three of pentacles a lot of pentacles here. there's a lot of money and, and i feel like money was an imbalance here a lot of pentacles they see you as the queen of pentacles gemini all right they did not they did not work with you they did not invest as much as you did they did not put in the work that you did okay because we have the seven of pentacles here that's a nine the nine of pentacles here the queen of pentacles and the three of pentacles they didn't work with you okay the three of pentacles is working together right they didn't work with you they're haunted by their actions because they didn't they didn't meet you halfway okay why is this card here i still remember the good times we shared it's like yeah you remember the good times empress card the baby mama card okay what else we got i still remember the good times we shared queen of swords okay that's gemini energy okay give me another one still remember the good times we should it's like a stuff <laughs> it was a stuck though yeah so you have the queen of wands the six of cups yeah i still remember the good times yeah you you feeling nostalgic okay they're feeling nostalgic gemini and the ten of swords they're remembering the heartache that they gave you okay they're remembering the, remembering the betrayal that occurred between you two all right they're they're feeling nostalgic here all right and with the queen of wands energy it's like they i think they're starting to see your glow up i think they're seeing your glow up and they're like wow you know i messed up you know gemini i feel like you cut this person out your life okay they're starting to see your glow up they're starting to see your abundance they're starting to see your growth all right and they're starting to remember the betrayal that they put on upon you all right let's get some advice for you gemini because it is mercury retrograde all the X's come back in Mercury retrograde. So just be careful. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> All right, let's give you some advice, Gemini, before we have any more interruptions. All right. The children are home. Okay. What advice do we have for Gemini here in this situation? What advice do we have for Gemini? They're seeing your glow up. They and you've been holding it down all this time. Start a new beginning. <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles. Start a new one, okay? With equal give and take, okay? With that Six of Pentacles there. You know what I mean? mm -hmm. With someone that you're passionate about, go after your passions, Gemini. All right, so 
I feel like spirit is definitely saying with this Ace of Pentacles, it's like start a new solid beginning, okay? One that has equal give and take and one that you're very passionate about. Anything else? Oh, yeah, there it is. An emperor, okay? Go ahead after your emperor, okay? Because you need someone. When this person says, am I good enough? This person was not being an emperor, all right? They were not investing. They were not putting in any effort. Okay, there was conflict there. Spirit is saying, go after that new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles, one that has equal give and take, the Six of Pentacles. All right, could be with an Earth sign for all those Pentacles. One is an Emperor, one with a lot of passion within Knight of Wands. Very attractive, very sexy. Okay, Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Okay, solidifying the Earth. Okay, so that's what I have for you, Gemini, and I hope this helped. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon. And look back for more videos because I have nothing but time on my hands now. So, have fun, guys. Enjoy your weekend. I'll see you guys soon. Miss you guys already. Bye bye. Happy birthday.